Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. Is it worth a buy? Oh, I can smell lasagna. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Let's read the words, the words of the developer. Go behind enemy lines with the ultimate modern military shooter. Play as an American sniper dropped in Georgia. 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 Near Russian border. You mean the Russian border? Choose your own path to accomplish your missions across an unforgiving open world. Yes, guys, it's another sniper game. I covered this in a preview when it went into open beta, which was a huge mistake from the developers because we all we all kind of found out how shite it was. We all found out how buggy it was. We all found out how awful the AI were and how just generally shite and buggy and yucky the game was on the PC. And I must say, guys, before we go another step further, this is the PC version that, that I'm uh, reviewing. Don't be fooled by other reviewers who pretend they're reviewing the PC version, but really they're not. It's all on f***ing consoles. This is a thoroughbred PC channel, and if you want the proper PC reviews, this is the place. This is the only place. This is the don't be fooled. I mean, you know, you see these big sites with all the you know PC review. It's not. It's on a fucking PlayStation, man. So I'm running this on a uh, an i7 with a GTX 1070 with everything on, and I'm running it in 1080p. Now I run it in 1080p because I like 1080p, and it runs lightningly fast. It's fine. I've got no problem whatsoever with it. I do, however, have quite a few problems with the game, and we're going to start with the lack of a fov slider you see guys this is another shitty sloppy wanky console port and you see guys one of the big problems with the pc version is the key bindings the basic first thing you ever do when you go into a new game is you rebind the keys that's what you do because you know the default keys will be for somebody with a claw hand you just know you just know somebody who's got wankers cramp and his hand stuck in that wanking position and he has some way of being able to get his thumb underneath his hand to press the key that's you know it's you know obviously as well there's tgfh with sad and there's left-handed people all the, there's valid reasons why you need to be able to rebind your keys and you just can't well you can <laughs> you can sorry you can rebind your keys but they're not can work every time i pressed strafe left i threw a fucking hand grenade f which is my strafe left because i use tgfh the superior key binding system was hard bound to throw grenade bellend studios on on steam who've released arse face goes haywire in redneck land for 199 you can rebind all your keys in that you can rebind all your keys in that game made by a guy in his fucking bedroom in his spare time he can do it but a company that's charging 40 pound for a game can't anyway what's the game like it's buggy i mean pretty much so far they've just been cosmetic bugs little tiny insignificant things um, the gunplay is actually good. Now, I've customised the, the options um, to make it suit how I want to play it for the ultimate fun ride that I can have in this game. And I'm pretty much doing alright. I'm sniping everybody. My uh, sidearm's good. I'm taking people down with a pistol at close range. I'm taking people down with a machine gun at medium range. Uh, I'm picking up new weapons, I'm crafting a lot of ammo, I'm crafting add-ons for me guns and mods and things like that. I've got a really super duper hideout in the snowy mountains and it's a quite a decent open world size. The trouble with the open world map is that it's only inhabited by deer. It's like there's nothing else there. I've never even seen another vehicle on the road unless it's mission specific. I've never even seen another vehicle. I've never even seen another person anywhere in the world, to be fair. It's just deer everywhere. There's nothing else there. It's a very bland world. Uh, so that pretty much leaves exploration down to a minimum because there's, there's not a lot to do. There's a lot of question marks on your map. And when you go to one of them, you might have to kill two guys and search the area for a few supplies. But that's it. That gets boring very quickly. They're called points of interest points of interest a point of interest for me would be going through a wood and catch a couple dogging in the car that's a point of interest not a fucking dead deer with a picnic basket nearby and a crate full of mechanical parts that's not interesting fucking boring but the question keeps coming back what's the game like to play and i think it's quite fun me i mean i don't know what everybody's crying about really uh, everybody's absolutely hammering this game and, and i really don't think 
it's as bad as what people are saying. There's a lot. I've read a few uh, of the little reviews on Steam, and apparently there's a few people struggling with the game crashing. I've never had a single crash yet, and you know I'm probably pretty much halfway. Th well, I'm over halfway through it now, and I haven't had a single crash really. It's just all it's all working great on my end, so I can only review what I'm seeing. Um, the problem this game has is that it's just a shit port. That's the problem. It's it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating as a as as someone who loves video games like I do because although this game isn't particularly my kind of game, I can see a lot of fun in this. I can see why somebody would love this game. I can really see it because some of the missions are pretty well thought out. You know, you have to do a few. They're quite deep. Some of the missions and. They're quite hard, some of them as well, and the enemy are pretty handy with their weapons. They are very accurate with their shooting. The blind, obviously, until you know you do a dance and a jig, but they are pretty, pretty good. The, the passive AI is pretty stupid. They, they kind of look in the opposite direction as, to where you are, putting the hands up, saying "Don't shoot, don't shoot." It's like, well, I'm not over there, mate. I'm over here, you know. And then there's a there's a great tribute band to the village people who like to sing YMCA instead of working at the sawmill. They're pretty good. But other than that, the AI is pretty decent at firing at you. What it's shit at is learning that if you walk into a room and I shoot you, I'm in that room. And you shouldn't follow your friend in blindly when you see his body at the entrance to the room because I'm going to shoot you too. And when I do shoot you, the guy behind you should also not just walk in that... You get the idea, guys? You can pull people to a kill zone very easily in this game. It sucks. I mean, it really does suck. But, seeing that, I have seen some really good AI as well. I've seen enemies running away zigzagging as I'm trying to snipe them. I've seen people who would just totally refuse to come into a kill zone. They're just sitting back and they're waiting for you to make your move. And if you stick your head up, they'll take it off. The snipers are particularly lethal in this game. Um, if you get an enemy sniper, get him quick, because if you don't, he will kill you. So it is challenging at the same time, but you know, you, you're you going to get the, the shitty stuff as well. Let's get down to the meat, though. Let's get down to the, to, the, to the actual question of, is this worth a buy? I mean, it's got good sounds. It's got, I think, good graphics. I think it looks great. Um, I don't think there's any problem with the graphics. It runs fast as well. Uh, you might have to turn it down a bit if you don't have a really powerful rig, but some of the gameplay is really good. Uh, the open world is big. I mean, it's in it's in zones. It's not strictly open. Um, there are loading times as well in this game, but the loading times are they're not even worth mentioning, really. I mean, you, I mean, you're looking at you know between missions, you're looking at a few seconds, three or four seconds loading. Then when you switch from one big map to another, you're looking at about 20, 30 seconds. It's, you know, it's, it's not bad at all. It's nothing that you're going to cry about, you know, basically. So you've got all that. You've got some good, well-thought-out missions. You've got a woman who has a very large cleavage with a really... I, I, she's a wad. She's a wad, guys. I know you don't know what a wad is, but a wad is... Yeah, I would. A wad. In fact, there's two wads in this. In fact, I wish the two wads would get together. In fact, you know what? There's me and two wads in a cave. No one else is there. Why aren't we doing threesomes? What the f***? is wrong with people the developers of this game what's wrong with you you've, put, you've gone and put mrs boob face a hot blonde with a ponytail i'd love to pull that ponytail just sit and pull it you know i've got this thing with mac so you've got kind of complex missions you've got a nice base you've got um decent modifications you've got lots of loot to collect i'm a sucker for games where you wipe out a base and then you pick up a lot of loot take it back and use it to craft shit i, I like that kind of progression and Speaking of bases, what I don't f***ing like about this is when you kill everybody in the base, a big thing comes up and says, congratulations, you've cleared the base. You've cleared that there's nobody else there. There's no So you can stop being immersed. You can stop wondering if there's somebody behind that barrel or behind that building. I'm telling you now, I am God. I am telling you there is nobody else there. So you can just run around like a complete prick. I've got a message for the person who put that in the game. Go f*** yourself. What are, you, what are you doing telling us when we've cleared an area? Are you f***ing stupid or something? It's a f***ing game where I'm playing a sniper out in the middle of these 
bloody hills and all that. I get immersed in my character. I come into a town. I clear it out. I need to know it's clear when I've gone through every fucking building and checked for myself. I don't want you f***ers telling me when the fucking place is cleared. You utter bell end of a person. The trouble with this game is it's too arcadey. There's too many setups and there's too many things there that just for me weren't put there by a proper gamer it's like somebody who's just getting on with it as if it's the, like an accountant i mean as gamers we like to explore we like to discover everything ourselves we don't want to be told where everything is we don't want to be told when we've cleared an area and this whole game kind of stinks of that kind of stuff the perk system for example in this X-ray vision is f***ing everywhere in the perk system. There's a perk, hey, see loot through walls, see enemy through walls, see everything through walls, see wall hacks. It's just f*** off. Honestly, guys, ugh, I, can't, I, I need to go to E3 and talk to these f***ers, I really do. We need more gamers developing games, essentially. But don't be put off by all the shit reviews that you're seeing of this. I think there's a bandwagon going on here guys and everybody's jumped on it yeah, it's shit it's shit it isn't shit guys take it from me if this was absolute wank then i'd tell you it is not shit i am enjoying myself in this game it's just frustrating that it isn't ready yet it's not finished yet it's full of stupid things that didn't need to be there and that's sad and it isn't worth 40 pound i'm going to thumb it down but heed this final final thing guys if you like open world first person games, if you like sniping, then don't be put off just by it. Because this obviously would be one of your favorite genres. Don't miss out on this game because there is a game underneath all the shit here. You've got to dig a little bit. You've got to get your hands a bit dirty, get a bit of shit under your nails and all that, you know, but you can get it out with a scrubbing brush. And if you find the game, you'll have fun. But if you just kind of, hmm, you know, then I would stay clear until it's had some serious love and patches. So there you go, guys. That's Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. It's a bit of a disappointment. It's a shame the PC version didn't have as much love as the console versions. But you know what developers are like these days. They favour consoles over PCs every time. And it's f***ing disgusting.